Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. Today is really an exciting day. I couldn't wait to get this thing on the stand. And I'm trying to get in some shade here because it's hot as shit outside. But what I've got today is the most spectacular engine I've ever had on this stand. At least it ranks as one of the two most spectacular engines I've ever had. This is a Sato FA200 Ti twin cylinder inline engine. This thing is absolutely spectacular. I just got this in the mail today. It's on loan to me from a very good friend for me to make some videos of, which is what I'm about to do, run this thing. I just hope my camera, the mic, does it justice. But I don't even really want to talk anymore about this thing because I just want to try and get it running. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and hand start it. It's got a 17.7 prop that was sent to me with this engine. Um, I believe those look like maybe OSF plugs. Now this engine is a dual plug engine. It's got plugs in both sides of the heads, which I thought Sato did away with years ago, but apparently they didn't. So knowing that this engine has already been run, I didn't pull the plugs, I didn't check them. So I'm just assuming that this is gonna run. So basically this is a box to the bench run. I did close the needle valve completely, so I need to reopen it. So I've got what I believe are OSF plugs in here, uh, Zor 17.7 prop, and I just grabbed the largest fuel tank that had some fuel in it, which only has about half a tank, but it's Cool Power, it's Morgan Cool Power MV four stroke fuel, which is a 15% blend. So let me shut up and let's see this thing do some talking.
Okay, so that was a pretty decent run, I'll say. Kind of interesting. Um, it's a very easy hand starter. It sounds incredible. It runs pretty well from mid-range to full throttle. Um, now, as you saw in the video, there were numerous times where I tried to go down to idle and this rear cylinder would drop out. So I spent much of the idle time with the glow starter on there because it just that rear cylinder just wouldn't keep firing. And as I was doing the run, I'm trying to think of what could be done to actually remedy that. And other than pull the plugs and check both plugs, I don't really know. Um, maybe a low speed adjustment on the, on the throttle, on the low speed needle would help. I don't know, it seemed like it had good transition. It seemed like it would um, run well at idle. So it may just be that this is one of those engines that's really gonna need a remote glow igniter. Maybe it's just not broken in, I don't know. I don't really know the history of this engine, how much time is on it. All I know is it's not brand new, but it's an impressive engine for sure. This is not the only time I will be running this engine. I will be running this engine with other fuels, other props, maybe make a couple of tweaks on that low speed and see if I can't get it to idle low and not drop that cylinder. But I mean, otherwise this is a pretty damn successful run and it's a really cool engine. So again, thank you, Brandon, for trusting me with this engine and uh, letting me feature this on my channel because this thing is incredible. Thank you all for watching.